Hi, I'm Mike Miller. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for watching the shows and thanks for supporting the guests who've come down to the studio to play. I'm honored to have a guest today who's very talented, has a great sound. And uh, Miranda, I appreciate you being here today. Hi, you too. And I really enjoyed seeing you the other night at Andy's at that uh, songwriter showcase. Yes, I had so much fun that night. Really, I'm really glad that Matt Grigsby is like getting that together. I hope it, I hope it keeps happening forever because there's a lot of singers in this town that don't get much airtime. Yeah, who was that? It was Richard and then Garrett. Oh uh, yeah, Richard yeah. and Garrett. Yeah, they're both really good. Well, no, not Richard. It was um, Jesse Thompson. And oh yeah, Garrett Jesse. Helps, uh, Richard Gilbert was like the week before. The week before, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So you're from Boulder originally? Uh, not originally. I was actually born in Kansas City originally. Oh, and I really? moved around Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas, and Missouri, and um, and Colorado the past few years. Yeah. And I just got here a few months ago. So uh, my most recent home is Boulder until until I just moved here. <laughs> so I was there a long time ago. It was really beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. The flat irons are like. Nothing compares. <laughs> I miss the, them so much. The flat irons. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, that's the mountains. Oh, uh, really? Are in Boulder. Mm -hmm. A certain kind of formation. Mm -hmm. They're like the the orange, like slated rock. Oh yeah. You know, like jaggedy rock. Isn't there a famous amphitheater there? Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. It's in uh, Morrison, Colorado, called Red Rocks. Yeah, Red mm -hmm. Rocks. Yeah. It's really fun to go to, even if nothing's happening there. It's really? Pretty, yeah. It's like a cool park around it, anyway. Yeah. When, when nobody's there, there's always somebody like on stage, just like pretending that they're like oh, really? dancing or singing. Yeah, or I did it too, but that's really fun. Well, that's fun. Mm. You started playing guitar when you were about 12, or you got your first guitar about that time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, from my stepbrother's uh, bandmate, um, they were in a band called uh, Dirty Americans. Or really? Back then, yeah, it was pretty cool. But uh, it was like an electric guitar, and yeah. I, didn't, I had no idea what I was doing with it. And eventually, kind of got an acoustic guitar and figured out my sound a little more. And you started writing writing poems and lyrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Kind of started um, even before I got the guitar. I was I was singing. Singing is mainly my thing. I'd, yeah, I'd I'd always kind of hummed myself and sang, but I didn't really think it was like, you know, I didn't know what life was without that. I didn't really see it as this big deal or whatever until yeah. me and my best friend started singing songs together and she's like hey you should keep doing that and I'm like yeah it's fun okay and then I just kind of got bored of songs I'd hear and I wanted to sing about certain things and I was like well, I can write yeah. <laughs> you know? and I had poems already and I just started writing little jingles and it's funny in the beginning because you're not sure if you're just like making something sound like another song you like or whatever well and there's nothing wrong with that yeah yeah yeah, yeah but I I kind of figured out my own sound because um, I really didn't have any like big idols growing up or anything. Like there's definitely like artists I love like Nora Jones or Gina Spector and um, a couple others and others but it was really um, music kind of came from like a mixture of like accidental and just like I had to express myself in some way like I just I had to do it you know. And you were booking gigs when you were about 14? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my stepdad taught me how to do that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, by the time I was 14, I was playing at this Italian place every week and a couple other places bi-weekly. It was, it was, it happened pretty fast. And then I just started traveling, doing it by the time I was like 17, 18. Really? <laughs> yeah. You played in Las Vegas? Mm -hmm. Eventually, yeah, yeah, by the time I was uh, 22. <laughs> when did you first come to Denton? I uh, first uh, came to Denton in my freshman year of high school, so that was 2008. Um, it's like in the middle of high school. I had to like um, move in the middle of spring break. It was kind of horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but I got here and I made a lot of really cool friends. That's I good. lived here until my junior year of high school, and I moved back again for my senior year of high school. So I've been I've collectively come back here probably like four times. Yeah. I <laughs> just like spin back around a few places. You have roots here though. You have mm -hmm. long term friendships. Yeah, so. I'd say I've got like three hometowns like Casey, Boulder, and DFW. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's a good spot. <laughs> I like your I like your material on SoundCloud. You have some really good songs out there with Thank a lot you. of uh, listens. Yeah, those ones are actually uh, pretty old. I like my new ones a lot more. <laughs> I need to get the new ones uh, recorded. But um, it's a big ordeal soon. to get recording accomplished. 
Mm -hmm. to get well, into I mean, it's it's more. I'm just uh, I've been picky. Yeah. Because you know, once it's done, it's done. You know? Yeah. I don't like going back to things, so um, I've been picky. But I'm about to I'm about to make public some really big news soon about some new recordings. So really? I can't wait. Yeah. New songs that you've written. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, you have a Fleetwood Mac cover out there that yeah. I know you have a lot of Second listens on. Yeah, yeah, that's my. That's, that's good my that you can do them. Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> it allows people to hear more about what you, you know, can do in the mm -hmm. cover song area. Yeah, like being able to like compare and contrast a little bit because people like to do that. As much as you don't like to genreify yourself or compare yourself to artists, like all we have is what we've learned as we grow. So yeah, it's good to kind of have a reference. And, and some, some, covers. some of the gigs you play, you more or less have to play some covers, I yeah, guess. Yeah, you gotta get people's attention. Everyone wants to dance to a song they know. Yeah. <laughs> you played at Gaylord in Grapevine? Um, Gaylord. A while back, Gaylord. Um, oh, the museum? Texas, uh, that big uh, hotel out there by Grapevine Mills Mall. Hmm. Man, I played a lot of shows lately. I can't really? remember. Really? Yeah. Like what city? I was just looking through your Facebook thing, but uh, yeah. you've played several times at Abbey, and then yeah. Andy's also. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I've done a lot of like random gigs around town, but I, I rarely stay in any other city besides you know Dallas, Plano, or Denton. So any any shows around, I can't really remember uh, the cities. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it so, all runs together yeah. after a while. Yeah. yeah. What kind of guitar do you play usually? Um, I. I played my Honer for years, um, it's like I think from the late 80s. Really? But I just got this uh, GS Mini Taylor guitar a couple years ago for my birthday. And um, so that's what I've been playing mainly. Those are good guitars. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, I got told to get a Taylor, so I did. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any specific plans for your general future you just you, you have an, a cd coming out or uh, yeah a lot of those things i'm actually um <clears throat> i i don't i don't know how much i can talk about it okay but yeah I'll, I'll i'll say that um i'm going to be doing a pilot series tv show really about um sustainable living and traveling and um we're also going to be uh founding a record company and really it's actually that I can talk about that uh, tiny house records so um, if you want to look at tinyhouserecords.com it's already up and running that's and good we'll be traveling around and I think uh, on the road we'll be able to book people to record too and as we go really when we're in the area and stuff. yeah like Cricket Taylor released an album from Kerrville I think where she <laughs> just was sitting around the campfire or something mm -hmm. that kind of thing just um, Recording people in a natural setting. No, in an actual t a tiny house. Do you know what a tiny house is? No. Oh, um, it's a, uh, it's like a portable home. That's, um, you I mean you can build it in any way, but you you can, uh, it's like, I think it's like 400 square feet or, oh, or less. Oh, one of those, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so it's a just like a fully sustainable, just like home you can carry around all the time. So for the TV show, it's going to be. Me and Bandit traveling around <laughs> in a tiny house. That's a good <laughs> idea. Cool. Yeah. You can just have that on the back of a truck and mm -hmm. take it wherever. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna take it. I was thinking like maybe I could see if I could take it on the back of the van, but I'd rather have a, a better car to do that. With. It might be harder in your transmission. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a pretty old van. Well, I do appreciate you coming down today. And is there anything else you wanted to mention? Um. Just that uh, I've got a show tomorrow night, the Backyard on Bell. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> I just have a plug, but, <laughs> They've but had some the, good this is going to come out probably after that. After but, that, but mm -hmm. you'll, be, you'll probably be playing there again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got a lot of Backyard on Bell shows. There's, there's been a lot of really good um, community going on there, so I'd advise going to those shows because it's got a really good atmosphere. <laughs> Opportunities for vendors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just people to network there. It's kind of like really open, yeah. kind of loving community there. Well, I appreciate you coming down, and you guys stay tuned to check out Miranda's music, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. All right. Let's see. I um, wrote this new song a couple weeks ago. I'm trying to think. I'll do it with the capo this time. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> it's called Let Me Let Go. Look around 
say it was happy <laughs> so uh let's do um how about a tedeschi trucks band song this is to you susan tedeschi i love you <laughs>
closing down Gonna carry these dreams to the other side of town And walk that line It's all apart You gotta spend your whole life trying See, I'm gonna do an original. This next one is called I See You. It's about pure love. Played a three hour show last night, so uh, my fingers are currently falling off still. <laughs> but um, let's do another one. Let's pick up the pace a bit. It's one that I wrote called Reach For Me. It's about when two people really like each other, but no one will make a move. I know 
that we've both been hurt so long, but we can't make it gonna do it but I think I'm gonna do it there is a song that I wrote just night before last and um, here it is it's not finished so I'll just repeat it looking back I'd have thrown my cards on the table if I'd have known I wasn't able to see you again No, I can't justify Why the hard times are ruthless They leave you bloody and toothless Just lying on the floor still love you better than I, I was ever able to back then ooh, 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 ooh. and every time I hear this song just know I'm, I'm right there just kiss you if only you were close enough yeah looking back I'd have thrown my cards on the table if I'd have known I wasn't able to see I can't justify why the hard times are ruthless. They leave you a bloody and toothless. I just crying on the floor. But there is good news, yeah. I can still love you better than I, I was ever able to back then. Yeah, every time you hear this song. Snow, I'm, I'm right there with you, you know. I could just kiss you if only you were close enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Huh? Got one more. Okay. Let's see. I can end on a little. Uh, Cover. This one I also did not write. Uh, when I learned it, she went by Lady Lamb the Beekeeper, but now she goes by Lady Lamb. The song is called Sunday Shoes. It's a very good one. Haven't played it in a little bit. Sunday shoes when you left the fence to chase the wolves from your baby sister who was eating dirt in the flower bed near the house where your mother hung her 
her head You wept for the Lord To fill her up like buttermilk Pancakes and Sunday brunch The town was swept away by oceans of praise and talk about how we headed home and how I'll be held in the arms of the most selfless lover and what we have all done is already written down we will all become a phenomenon You scuffed your Sunday shoes when you left the fence To save your sister from those hungry wolves But you fell the wrong way, yeah, you broke your leg now The animals are turning their heads It's turning, no, now they're turning back It's Take you to their den and lick your bones to take you down to their home and kiss all on your bones, but don't be afraid to go with them. No, don't be afraid to be carried home. The sky it will. So nice on your soul So nice on your soul And you will be sorely missed And you will be sorely missed by your mother That lay to rest oh, Like the dinosaurs Puzzled over And lay to rest oh, Like the dinosaurs Pieced back together And lay to rest oh. So don't hold Your friend For your baby sister Now Thank you.